Happy New Year, and welcome back to Fixing with Friends. I'm your host, that guy you know, and I'm tired of saying that, but hey, let's just move on. So this episode we're going to cover an issue that's fairly prevalent in S30s, um, and it'll affect things more than just with this. So after I put the dash back in, I encountered an issue, uh, and I'll show you that right now. As you can see, the tachometer's light didn't show up while all the others did. Could have just been wiring or a connector that I didn't have attached properly. So that's where we'll start. All right, I've got to take this off first. Smooth. on the damn Right, other screwdriver. So not a very good angle, but I've done this like four times now. So. Man, so screwed. There we go. Did I cross thread that? Nope. None of that. I may still have to take things off. My hand is not exactly fitting. is out. All right, let's do some continuity testing. Technically not continuity, but resistance. It's very similar. Touch that there. And touch that. In a special place. Point seven. Okay. Now we'll check the positive side. 
Which one was I doing? This one? Seven. Now I'll check to see if they've got a 12 volt current. Okay. And those are top right and left. Wait. I was doing this wrong. Sorry, let's do this again. The red and blue wire should be on the opposite side of the white. No, no, never mind. I just flipped it upside down while I would forget it. So going by this, I need to check the top right and bottom right connection. Could just be the LEDs. Who knows? This green and white, which is the top right one. And the bottom. You stay where you belong. Okay. So the battery's voltage is a little low. It's obviously less than 12. It could be why the LEDs aren't working. And I have that wrong. I have got it backwards anyway. No, wait. Positive goes down. Interesting. Anyway, I'll check the battery now. That's, that's why I don't like parking under a uh, weeping willow. Just sort of gets sap all over everything. Sorry, crooked. Uh, the battery has 12, almost 13 volts. And so the problem is obviously the low voltage and or the reversed voltage for some reason. I can try running the bulbs through the connections to see if it's the voltage re current reversal, sorry. Would you kindly join me outside for a moment? See? So I found the problem. I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Maybe I'll try. So who remembers what I said the top wire was supposed to be? Top right hand corner. Have you guessed? Anyone who is listening knows that that's supposed to be a green and white wire, not the red and blue wire. So someone actually wired this incorrectly. So as I've mentioned in a previous video, LEDs, because they are diodes, only allow current to flow in one direction try and put this in the correct direction this time. Oh great, I just flipped it. <laughs> Alright, well I have a 50% chance of screwing that up again. Now you can eliminate the LED being in the wrong because for one, we tested it a couple times, but also because in this style of socket, the bulb can only go in one way. Going back and watching this, it should have been glaringly obvious what the issue was, with the number of times I noticed inconsistencies but doubted myself, I didn't even think to question the original wiring. I mean, at the time, to be fair, it didn't matter. An incandescent bulb can run either direction. My guess is the tachometer was the one wired incorrectly rather than this connection. Um, regardless of whether or not that's true, I'm going to fix it um, on the tachometer because there's no way I can reach in there and rewire that. I would have to pull the dash again. 
So the trick is going to be getting down in there to pull these out and remove them. I can't quite see how to do that yet, but I will take a look and figure it out. So it's actually this side I have to unclip. Down at the very base of those pins, there's a little metal tab on each side. Do you see? So I'll pop those out, switch it around, and it should be good to go. Alright, so I'm going to try and do this in front of you. Don't get your hopes up too high, and I apologize if it gets blurry. I need a smaller one of these. So, I'm back with the tiniest flathead screwdriver I have ever seen. I'm sure there's smaller ones for people who work with electronics. But yeah, it's quite small. Now, I apologize to all of you because this shaft is far smaller than I'm used to working with. You know, videotaping this makes it just that much more difficult. One. What would be best is a tiny set of needle nose pliers. Or some sort of sleeve that I can just push down. Maybe I could make one if I have trouble with this. And two. I'm just spreading these prongs out again so they will work. Not too far because I don't want to break them. But the nice thing is these old ones use a lot of extra material and they're quite heavy duty by comparison to the new stuff. But they do not work as nicely. I'm an idiot. I've done the wrong side. Again! And here I was about to brag about not being completely useless. I was indeed doing something stupid. Let's try this again. Ah, what have I done with the tiny screwdriver? Let's do this again. To be clear, I'm not good at electronics, just logic. And I'm not even good at that. Alright, so red on the top. It's not an opening. Alright, green on the bottom. Prongs are reset. Now plug it in. Don't forget to put the lights back in, or all of this will have been stupid and pointless. Alright, I'll leave you there so you can see if this was successful. Alright, so key in. Lights on. Oh look, it's working. Light on, light off. Stop that infernal beeping. Ah. Success. Uh. It's like its eye is hanging out. Put it back in. Put it back in. Just 
See if this will go in for me this first time. It is suspiciously going in. I don't think that's actually in anything. No, it may very well be. Right now, to try and get this tiny one all the way in. Put this back together. That's correct. Once more into the bits. So I just noticed this could be new or it could be old. But uh, I was just talking about how old plastic is kind of an issue. Well, right here, it's cracked, and chances are it's going to bridge those two and possibly start a fire. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to order a nine connection connector and replace these. Hopefully there's enough wire. Otherwise, maybe I can find the same one unlikely, but if I can, then I can just swap out this side doing basically the same thing as I just did with the pins. There was a time I could do this without dropping everything, and that time was never, or in my imagination, possibly both. the episode there's one more video on the that has to do with the dash and that's putting it back in I didn't put that out because for one thing we already have a lot of videos on the dash so it just seemed like much of one thing all in a row and the other reason is just because you know there's already the video of taking the dash out that said with regard to the video of putting the dash back in there's a little bit more uh, close-up and a little, it's a little bit clearer the shots you can see again the intent when I was filming it was to be a small portion of the dash removal would end up making into a broader dash removal video so I hadn't bothered filming step by step how to remove the dash if I go to pull the dash out again I will do it in more detail I have no idea what the next episode is going to be but it's going to be a surprise for all of us. I wish you all a good rest of 2021.